Now that you know what is business environment, the features of business environment, let us move to the next concept that is importance of business environment. Here there are six points of importance of business environment and they are it, uh, the first one is it helps the firms to identify opportunities and get the first mover advantage. Second, it helps the firm to identify threats and early warning signals. Third one is it helps in assisting in planning and policy form formulation. It helps fourth one, it helps in tapping useful resources. Fifth point is, it helps in coping with rapid changes. And the last sixth point is, it helps in improving performance. So, let us uh, know more about these points. Here, you can see in this picture, S which represents strength, W represent weakness and O represent opportunity, T represent threats. So this is known as SOT analysis. With the big companies, they go for SOT analysis to know the strength, weakness, opportunity and threats which are there around in their environment. And making use of this SOT analysis, a successful organization can plan in uh, advance about all the coming opportunities and the threat which they may have to face in future and they are getting themselves prepared for this so knowing the strength and weakness also help them to uh, prepare themselves uh, accordingly so now let us move to the points the first importance of uh, business environment is it helps the firm to identify opportunities and get the first to move up. So what is an opportunity? Opportunity refers to the positive external trends and changes that will help to improve the firm's performance. So opportunity is something which is which gives some benefit to the firm and improve the performance of the firm. Now environment provides numerous opportunities for the success of any business. Early identification of opportunities help the firm to be the first to exploit them instead of losing them to competitors. Children, if we are studying the business environment, uh, suppose a businessman is studying the business environment, he will come to know about the opportunities in advance. So he can prepare his firm accordingly and be, he, he can be the first to take advantage of that opportunities rather than losing them to their competitors. For example, Maruti Udyog became the first to recognize the needs for small cars in India where petroleum prices were rising and there was a large middle class population. You know that ambassador and all that car was in use in uh, um, a few decades back. But uh, with uh, uh, Maruti Udyog was the first to recognize that the small cars, if it is introduced, it will be more um, advantage for the small middle class population who cannot afford uh, big cars and uh, petroleum price which is rising. So it was the first, Maruti Udyog was the first have taken up the opportunity and they become the first to take uh, the move for uh, the first that is small cars. The second point is it helps the firm to identify threats and early warnings. So threats means uh, negative external trends and that changes uh, and changes that will hinder a firm's performance. So these these are the negative changes uh, which hinder the performance of the firm. And uh, uh, beside opportunities, there are different threats also, which if identified can be can serve as an early warning signals. 
so uh, environmental awareness can help manager to identify various threats on time and serve as an early warning signals for example if india um, indian firms finds that ma uh, multinational companies entering into indian market as a new substitute for his product their product so it is a warning for the indian firm so he have to plan many things like he can go for uh, more improved quality of his product reduce the cost of production uh, go for an aggressive advertisement so that his product his product can withstand uh, and face the market compared to the multinational company so that early detection of threat can uh, prepare him to face the multinational companies the third point is it helps in assisting in planning and policy formulation so planning and for policy formulation is something related to future so if we are well aware about the business environment we are aware about the opportunities and threats then we can plan and make the policy according to those um, studies so since business environment provides both opportunity and threats for the firm its understanding and analysis can be the basis for deciding the future course of action or a guideline for decision making so this is the third point the fourth point is it helps in tapping useful resources a business firm they assemble various resources from the environment so this uh, resources we can termed it as input for the business firm and they can be in the form of finance machines raw materials power and water labor etc so these things a business firm gets from its environment and what does a business firm provide in return of this input taken from the environment they provide they supplies the output in the form of goods and services to the customers or to the uh, consumers who are really in need of these things so the enterprise they design policy that allow it to get the resources that it needs so that it can convert those resources into outputs that the environment desires so we can say that a firm they uh, use they tap the resources from the environment and they give something useful to the society which actually the environment desires that is the importance of business environment so tapping the useful resources from the environment next point is it helps in co coping with rapid changes you know that business environment is dynamic so it have to change according to the need of the society so business environment changes over time and the rate of this change trend to accelerate as time passes all the sizes and all types of enterprises are facing increasingly dynamic environment so understanding of business environment helps an organization to cope up with such changes by doing things through innovations so if we are ready that is see we are ready with our online classes isn't it so that was a need of present environment so we have to bring some innovation we have brought some innovation in our studies pattern of giving uh, uh, learning and uh, uh, teaching process so these innovations was the need of the environment and we have to cope up with such rapid changes otherwise it is difficult to sustain or remain in the competitive world so same is the case with business environment so they have to cope up with the changes otherwise it is difficult to sustain or remain in the uh, uh, or face the competitors next is it helps in improving performance so if we are studying the environment business environment we are continuously monitoring our environment and develop suitable action plan uh, it will not only improve the present performance of 
the business but also continue to succeed in the market for a longer period so not only for the present situation but for future progress also we have to monitor the environment and bring about some action plan to change according to it now we can have a review of today's class in today's class we saw what is business environment the meaning of business environment that is it is a totality of factors which is outside the control of business but which affect its working so this was the meaning of business environment we also saw seven features of business environment they uh, to study these seven points uh, menomics will help you you can study cid rust that means c for complexity i for interrelatedness d for dynamic rust the word rust here the letter r represent for relativeness u represents uh, uncertainty s represents specific and general forces and t represent totality of external forces so whenever you are studying the uh, features of business environment just remember cid rust so you can uh, though you have to study these points but if cid rust is there in your mind you can remember which all points are there in this features then we studied the third concept which was importance of business environment there were six points related to this to remember this six point you have to remember a small story that is opportunity and threats were two friends because of knockdown they were unable to go to school so they had they planned to study at home they collected various resources for this and they cope up with the changes which was happening around hence they were able to perform well so with this you can study the six points that is opportunity and threat to friends they planned for studies and hence they collected resources like books and all that and they were able to cope up with the changes and hence they can perform well so these six points will help you to remember the importance of business environment so this is all for today meet you in the next class